Hi, Troy Malone here. We own a 140-pound dog, and when you own a 140-pound dog, sometimes strange things happen. Now, we had a party here the other night at the house, and it looks as though, from the reports from the kids, that he may have swallowed a blue balloon, and it's protruding from his back end. So I'm going to try to go in, retrieve the balloon. Assuming that there was some sort of ribbon tied to the balloon, it may be still in his digestive tract, so I'm going to pull it out as far as I can, and then snip, snip, and hopefully that's the end of this, and he'll just poo the rest out in the yard. But uh, let's go in for the kill now. So here he is. His name's Buster. Buster. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stay we don't want to frighten the animal. Down, down, boy. Okay. Now, this is just like as if I was doing this to a zebra or giraffe in the outback. What you want to do is you want to gain access to the anus by lifting up the tail. You can see there's a balloon there. So I'm going to try to go in, grab the balloon, and, oh my goodness. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. You're okay. Got it, got it. Okay. So, oh, oh my gosh! That smells vile! That is the balloon that I just blew my dog's butt! <laughs> the kids are running and screaming. Turn off the video, I'm about to barf.